what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Chris PC DNS switch pro now and it's pretty nice to have so let's go ahead and install this on the system so I'm just going to quickly install this here and there we go so once you've got your license you will have this piece of software open here you can go to the register DNS switch this will allow you to register your software you can then put in your username and your serial number inside here and register it okay so I'm just going to click register and there we go we've now got our license registered okay so let's take a look at the actual software itself as you can see here it's pretty nifty you've got a bunch of uh, links down the side here where you've got DNS settings DNS database also DNS benchmark which is a new thing here uh, program settings register DNS switch and also your about DNS visit their web page and also like us on their Facebook and the database is going to be the database of all the DNS servers that they have in their database and you can see there is a lot of them inside here now if you are concerned with young children that are using the internet there is also a family safe DNS one here which is the Norton uh, connect safe family uh, this one here and uh, this will basically keep them safe and it will block all the nasty websites out so if you want to use something like this this is really uh, great and also if you've got a secure DNS here a anonymous one here which is the Swiss uh, privacy foundation as well and a bunch of other ones inside here uh, Yandex safe Yandex basic and there's some really good uh, DNS servers inside here now you can edit the uh, DNS um, list here the present list here and also you can add a DNS in there as well so if you want to add some in you can do and you can also delete them as well you've got this little drop down menu which allows you to select what you want to do here so basically regular DNS this will just put in the regular DNS servers inside the list here and also you've got the secure ones so if you want to use some secure ones and maybe you've got some other ones you can add them in and you've also got the ones that are in the list here again family safe ones you've got three of them in the list anonymous ones and uh, these will give you an amenity and also the custom section we also have the benchmark here so you can see here you've got your benchmarks so we'll take a look at those in us in a second so I'm going to go back to the DNS settings here and you can see the network adapter all you need to do here is select the network adapter that you're using now if you've got more than one network adapter uh, you can uh, select uh, either one of those but you can see I've only got one on this computer and it's the killer e2200 uh, gigabyte Ethernet controller so you've got the display settings here so this will be your network display settings on here this will open up this area straight away by clicking on that and you've got the refresh button here so let's go ahead and uh, change this up so it's give us the preferred uh, DNS servers here which is what's preferred for this uh, computer which is your ISP and you've got the restore DNS here for the current uh, network adapter for all network adapters and so on down there now here we can choose it by coming down to here and selecting from the list if we want to so for instance if I want to select one of these I can do if you want to select it from here so for instance if I wanted to go to see regular DNS it's going to put in the open DNS home or you can change to one of the others here so I'm just going to leave that as is and then I'm going to click on the change DNS now there is a little drop down here and you can do it for the current network adapter but I'm just going to click on this one here I've only got one on there so I'm going to change to this and there we go that's successful it's done and there we go we've got our DNS server changed 
Now if we click on this here and open this up, we can go to this section here and I'll just quickly show you. It's basically changed the DNS server for us without going into this location here. There we go. So what I can do here is go to the benchmark here and you can click on the open DNS home and you can click on the uh, start benchmark and it will give you an idea of what is uh, the faster one. So you've got 18 milliseconds there, 19, 29 and so on. These timed out ones here. And this will give you an idea of what the fast ones are. So you've got a few invalid IP addresses here. I'm not sure what that is going on there. But let's just run in through here. So it's give us the fastest preferred DNS server is this one here. Alternative DNS server would be this one here. So you can click on this here now and it will change it to that DNS if you want to. But that is basically it. That is the software in a nutshell. We have got our program settings here. And you've got some other bits and pieces which you can change around in here. All DNS or you can just make it only these ones here and remove this one here. And it will only show you the, uh, the family safe ones if you wanted to by putting the ticks in your preferred uh, settings here. Now to restore your DNS back to default here, all I need to do here is go and click on the restore a DNS server. And you can see we have got an option to do from current network adapter or all network adapters here. I'm just gonna click on the button for the current network adapter and go back to my ISP uh, DNS here just to show you how to restore it back to default settings. Anyway, my name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.